Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dima Tutorials. Dima Tutorials, as you already know, is an educational channel here on YouTube. And what I did to help students to prepare for the exams on the use of English and on literature. So they want to talk about interpretation of sentences. Interpretation of sentences. This is one of the sections that every jump candidate or worst candidate is expected to answer questions on. So we are going to look at some skills that you need to have to understand the statement and also be able to select the right option. And to answer questions on interpreting of sentences, one thing you should do is not to choose the answer in a rush because most, most times all the options always contain the information that is in the statement. But when you're choosing your answer, make sure you choose the answer that gives the exact information that is the given statement, not the one that gives extra information and not the one that will throw some information, okay? Choose the one that gives the exact information that is in the statement. Okay, let's say for example, in the past questions we have, I was one of those who readily believed in his development program. I was one of those who readily believed in his development program. We have option A. I was part of those who renounced the program B. I was the originator of the program C. I was one of the people who embraced C. C. I was one of the people who embraced the program. And D. I was one of the great number of people who developed um, his program actively. If you look at this question closely, notice that all the options contain the information, at least a part of the information in the given sentence. I was one, I was part of those who learned the program. It's not the correct answer. The two of them are talking about program, so it's not the correct answer because this option is talking about renouncing, and the statement is talking about accepting, believing. Okay, accepting, believing. Okay, I was one of those who readily believed in this program. Means that um, I was one of those who accepted his program, who welcomed his program. I was one of those who um, believed in his development program. So, option A is not the correct answer because this option is talking about renouncing the program. Now, option B, I was the originator of the program. I only believed in the program. I only accepted the program. I only embraced the program. Now, option C, I was one of the people who embraced the program. This is the correct answer. You see why I said you should not rush selecting your answer. Don't rush selecting your answer. Try to understand the statement very well. And... You know, you can also try to rephrase the statement. Try to rephrase the statement. It will also help you to quickly um, select the right option. Now, I was one of the great number of people who developed his program actively. So it's not the correct answer. So the correct answer, like I said, is option C. Now, another thing to consider while asking questions on interpretation of sentences is the structure of the sentence. You have to pay attention to the structure of the sentence. Now, if the statement is a conditional statement, in the past questions, we have a lot of questions on conditional statements. Now, let's answer that question from the past questions on if plus or conditional sentence. You have, if I were the captain, I would have led the team to victory. If I were the captain, I would have led the team to victory. Now, we have option A. I was not the captain. First, what does the statement mean? If I were the captain means you were not the captain. Okay? You are not the captain. And each sentence or a conditional sentence is used in talking about impossible situations, things that could have happened if and nothing did not happen. And it's also used in expressing a regret. Okay? Now, if I were the captain, I would have led the team to victory. Now, it seems the person, the, um, it seems the speaker is regretting he was not the captain. Okay? If I were the captain, it simply implies that um, I was not the captain. I would have led the team to victory. It means that I did not lead the team to victory because I was not the captain. I was not the captain. Now, I was not the captain. I was not the captain, right? Now, this um, this first clause interprets the first clause of the statement correctly. Now, let's look at this um, second clause. But I led the team to victory. I led the team to victory. Is it correct? Does it explain the second clause? I would have led the team to victory. So it's not correct. This person is guessing that he's not the captain, which is why he did not lead, um, lead the team to victory. So this is not correct. 
I was the captain. Is it correct? I was the captain. Does it interpret the first clause correctly? No, it does not um, interpret the first. It does not interpret the first clause correctly. If I get the captain, it means I was not the captain. So this um or should be I was the captain is incorrect. So there's no need to uh, waste our time on it. Now I was not the captain. Interprets the first clause correctly. I was not the captain, and I did not lead the team to victory. So this is the correct answer. I was not the captain, and I did not um lead the team. Oh, Jesus, so push the stop. And I did not lead the team to victory. This is the correct answer. Now option D. I was the captain. Is incorrect. Now option C is the correct answer. I was not the captain and I know the team to me. Always make sure you understand the sentence before um attempting to answer it, okay? Try to rephrase the statement in your head before choosing an answer, okay? Now when you have a sentence that contains um needn't, didn't, and not when you have a sentence that contains didn't, um aunt. And that's ought not and or didn't. When you have a sentence that contains didn't and um, didn't, it means that the action has taken place, but it wasn't necessary, so you regret it. Okay. For example, um, I didn't do this video at this time. I didn't do this video at this time. It means that I've done the video at this time, but I regret it. The action of doing the video has taken place. But it wasn't necessary. It wasn't necessary that I did the video at this time. Therefore, therefore, I regret doing the video at this time. So when you have a sentence that contains needn't, um, and didn't or did not, or not, did not, just know that the um, action has taken place. It has taken place, but it wasn't necessary. So the person that took the action regret it now let's answer a question on this from the past questions he needn't have bought that new table what does the statement mean the statement means that he bought the table but it wasn't necessary that he bought the table so he regrets buying the table he bought the table but it wasn't necessary that he bought the table so he regrets buying the table. Now let's choose the option that interprets this um, statement correctly. It isn't possible that he bought the table. So this is not what the statement is all about. The statement is not saying that it is not possible um, that he bought the table because he already bought the table. Okay. Now he bought the table. He bought the table. This is correct, but it wasn't necessary. This is the answer. He bought the table, but it wasn't necessary. Now we have option C. He didn't buy the table. He didn't buy the table. It's not correct. Now option D. He doesn't need to buy the table, which means it's not necessary. So this option gives part of the information in the given sentence. It converts part of the information in the given sentence. It does not contain. It does not convey the full information in the given sentence. So you should choose the option that conveys the full information in the sentence. In the given sentence, the full information, not part of it. Okay. All right, guys, so I'll be ending here. There'll be a part two to this lesson. I have a lot I want to discuss with you guys today, but I really don't have time now. So I'll do another video on interpretation of sentences very soon. So if you anticipate this, let me know at the comment section, okay? Thank you very much for watching and see you in the second part of this video, which is going to be very soon, okay? Bye for me.